this video is to convince you that probability is actually super useful in everyday life. We'll be seeing a few uh, rules or theorems uh, in which we can use probability to uh, make surprising and very useful predictions with just very few data points. In the age of machine learning, it has become common to actually make uh, predictions using millions of data points, but just using simple probability, it is possible to make useful predictions as well. Let's start with uh, a simple uh, rule of succession by uh, Laplace. Uh, what this is trying to tell you is that, let's say uh, we have made N uh, trials, N independent trials. Uh, it can be anything as simple as a coin toss, N independent coin tosses. And, uh, or like, let's say we had purchased N tickets, like in a lottery, and out of those N tickets, S of those are successful or S of those like uh, are tickets in which you actually won the lottery, like they are the winning tickets. So what this rule of succession uh, will help you predict is what is the probability of you winning the next in the next trial? Like, I mean, how assured you are of winning uh, if you try again and like, so this is basically like uh, just S plus one divided by N plus two, the numerator plus one uh, divided by the uh, denominator plus two. And this is actually surprisingly useful in making very similar predictions, like uh, given some events and a history, how, like what are the odds of winning the overall odds of winning or, or, or the overall odds of that event happening again. So it's something like, even if he had just a single data point, like if you buy one ticket and uh, so the number of trials in this case is just one and the number of wins is one again. So you just plug in one and one here. So you get one plus one divided by one plus two. So the overall probability of you winning again is 67%, yeah, just because there was one data point and you won, it doesn't mean the probability of you winning is 100%. And uh, this is a pretty good estimate of uh, what your win looked like. And uh, it was pretty high because you won in the very first try. And uh, similarly, let's say you uh, are a caveman and uh, you would you came out of your cave and you'd like to know what are the odds of the sun rising tomorrow i mean how much can you bet on that so let's say the sun came out 1.6 trillion days uh, which is close to the uh, life of earth and in a row uh, so basically the sun came out 1.6 trillion days in a row and you plug in 1.6 trillion days and out of those 1.6 trillion days, all on all days, the sun did come out. So that is 1.6 trillion plus one divided by 1.6 trillion plus two, which is indistinguishable from 100%. So that's how this simple rule of succession can be super useful in pre making uh, predictions uh, with very few data points as well as like in cases where there are a lot of uh, data points as well. Thank you.